Mid Journey version 4 is here and it is absolutely amazing. Hello my friends, how are you doing? In this video we have so much to talk about because the new model is really mind-blowing. Let's have a quick look at the announcement from David. So this right now is the alpha testing. It might be sticking around for some weeks but maybe it's only for some days. Now you can use this by in the prompt writing at the end minus minus v space four but you can also go into the private chat with the mid journey bot write slash settings select setting hit enter and then here you have version 4 click on that so that is green and then you are automatically in version 4. In the rest of the message he's talking about how this has vastly more knowledge about different places, is better with details with complex prompts. It can also use image links in the prompt and you can use multi prompt. So that is pretty amazing. And you can use minus minus chaos with a setting from 0 to 100. So that is really beautiful. But there are also some things that don't work. For example, for the image you can't set a weight. So minus minus IW doesn't work. Also the ratio doesn't work right now and you can't use weights in the prompt so colon colon and the number behind that is also not working right now you're limited to a one by one ratio but the good thing is it will give you four previews the other thing that is limited right now is the app sampling it doesn't work correctly right now so the highest resolution i could get is 1024 by 1024 now let's look at some examples here that I created together with Robomar. Check him out on Instagram. He's absolutely worth a follow. So here, first of all, we have some eye candy. Look at this amazing astronaut standing there and how accurate at anatomically the body is. The hands look pretty nice. Let's zoom in here a little bit. He's holding this little bag here. And look at the smaller details and how they fit from the perspective, but also from the anatomy. Here's the second image with the lion. Again, the details are really beautiful. Also, when you look down here, he has four toes. So that's pretty cool. And the hands are a little bit botched here, but also four fingers. So that is a great start. Also look at the fabric of his sweater with the details of the leaves here. It's very nice that that works. And another detail, the hat is really cool. The hairs are fitting from the style and the eyes don't look like fish eyes anymore. Overall, it's a really beautiful illustration. In the next image, we have something a lot more artsy, but again, the anatomy of the face, the details, the eyes, all of that looks really great. And the combination of the colors and the different kinds of textures that are used here are beautiful, playful, and artful. So this is something we have been missing. I feel like this is coming back with more creativity. Here we have another astronaut and look first of all at the complex architecture that is at the same time right from the perspective. That is really beautiful but then also the details on the body transparent helmet you can see the face you can see a face expression and the cool thing also i like how alive they feel this was a problem also with test and test p that the bodies often felt a little bit stuffy and a little bit staged but here it's really dynamic beautiful you feel like in the scene and the choices of the light and the color are in most pictures really beautiful here we have a photorealistic render and the details are just mind-blowing. First of all, again, look at the eyes. And like I said, the resolution right now, even from the upscales, is pretty low. This is why this is a bit pixelated, but the eyes are really great. We even have little reflections in the eyes. That is amazing. And the other details like the skin and the lips are beautiful. And what I also like is when you look at the clothing, most of the details here, the tube, and the head garment here, the flowers, also the decoration here on her clothing. All of that in most cases makes sense and looks like actual details from the clothing. This is where we had a lot of problems in the past where it would look like something but actually not be that. But here you can see that 
these details are actually repeating. That is nice. But at the same time, they have the kind of flaws as if they are made by hand. So they are not all the same size. They're a little bit different. So that is pretty cool. Very, very impressive. Now here we come into details of testing the prompt and the new model. In this case, having a cat with glasses is a test because that was difficult before getting correct glasses that actually sit on the correct position of the face and then even have a little bit of that distortion you get from the glasses of a lens. So I can see a lot of that in here. Again, the cat eyes are beautiful. And if you look closely for the eyes, they even have this kind of structure you find inside of cat eyes. That is really beautiful. Also, the fluffiness of the fur of this cat is amazing. Next, we have a lion, a really beautiful. I like how detailed and accurate the details are of the physique when he is roaring. So you can really feel the roar when you look at that picture. Also, the expression of the eyes, how they are a little bit angry, a little bit aggressive. That is amazing. The teeth are a little bit strange, maybe, but still OK. And the cool thing here is you can feel the textures of the different parts. So you can see here that the nose, this part is flesh. Then we have some fur. You can feel the hardness of the teeth, but also the tongue has a different texture than the fur has next to it. So these little details are very helpful to bring everything alive. But now you can put multiple people in a prompt. So I wanted to see how far can I go with that. So I have here four people holding hands. What I like about that, first of all, it's four people, but also they have different positions and they have different actions they are doing. They are not just holding hands. So these are actually putting the arms on the back, which is still OK. Here we have five people. And here we have six people. Now I found that after six people, seven, you sometimes get eight is pretty hard to get. So at a certain point, this might stop. Maybe this is also because the space is limited. And when we get the ratio back, it might be better. So I will test that again when we have a wider ratio. Maybe I can fit 20 people holding hands. Next, we're going to look at some architecture pictures. Here you can see a somewhat complex architecture with the different details and levels where everything seems to work together. I'm really amazed by that. So some of the smaller details, like when you look here at the stairs, they are not 100% correct. But how these stairs come out here and how the rest of the architecture is in that space is almost accurate. There's a little bit of inaccuracy in there, but most of the time it looks really believable. Again, the colors and the light are very beautiful. Here's a second example with a Thai temple. Look at all these details, but also look at how this is accurately representing a Thai Buddhist temple because these are different from other Buddhist temples. This is hitting it really well with these roofs on top of each other with these spikes coming out here with these columns with the gold decoration on top and even this kind of wavy railing here next to the stairs. This is a detail where they have this kind of Naga snake coming down in some of the real temples. So I'm really blown away by how accurate these details are. Next, we have a French cafe. This again is a test for mid journey. And here you can see, and this is amazing, not only is the perspective right, but when you look at the chairs, most of them actually make sense. So here we have these kind of typical French wooden chairs and you can see it has four legs. It has this kind of round connecting part in between. And then also the round part that is coming up here for your back to lean against. And most of the chairs seem to be more chairs than we have seen in the past. Also, you have some details here on the table, some elements that are standing here. So that is very amazing. But another cool detail here is that you can actually look inside of the cafe and even the perspective and the details inside of the cafe make sense. So that is very impressive. Next, we have a little bit of an isometric fantasy style home. This is really beautiful. It works really great. Again, this is kind of a complex architecture here. Multiple stages where you can see they are connected by these little stairs. Really beautiful. We have some pumpkins here. There we have two chairs that are not 100% chairs, but they are good enough, especially with this perspective. And then 
we can enter here the home and have a second level up here where we can even look through the windows. Here we have another form of architecture, another artistic style. Also, the reason why I'm putting this here is because of the pumpkin faces. And you can actually see that in more faces than in the versions before, we actually have two eyes, one nose and one mouth. So this is true for most of these pumpkins. Here we have a comparison of a bunny that I have created with Mitchell version 3 in this Japanese garment holding a lamp. Now when you look at the fluffiness of the fur this looks very realistic and very nice. I tried the same prompt with version 4 and I got this result which first of all is very beautiful but more cartoonish from the style but again I really like the details and when you compare them this one looks really good but this kind of again as I said before looks very stuffy and staged and not so much alive. Now when you look at this character here you can see how this is very dynamic and you can imagine him moving at any time. Actually when you look at him you can see that he's captured in the middle of a motion so that is really beautiful and we again have here very nice details with his sweater where you can see the fabric but also when you look here at the hands actually paws of course they look pretty good they have maybe a little bit too many fingers but the rest of it is pretty good and down here for the feet first of all I like how fluffy his pants are because they are filled with the fur but also the way that he's standing and the way that his feet are bending as he is in motion stepping forward this looks really really good Next we have a second bunny here. I changed the prompt a little bit and you can see we are getting more fluffiness. We are getting more realistic eyes. But look at how beautiful it is. How this lady bunny here is holding the lamp. How the lamp is hanging down. This feels so dynamic. But what I really also like are these details on her fabric. The colors, the combinations here make a lot of sense. But how everything is placed here on the fabric is really great. And again, when you look down here at the feet, look at this kind of slight bending of the feet where you can see a motion that she's stepping forward and we caught her basically in the step. So this is really nice. Here we have another fluffy cat, this time in an anime style. I'm really impressed by the details, how accurate everything is, the expressiveness of the image, and also how close this comes to the style. I like this kind of die cut sticker format here. We have the white line around the shape that and makes the illustration pop more really beautiful and especially in this one i really love the combination of colors and shapes how everything is put together Next, we have a beautiful sci-fi cyborg with a little bit of fantasy elements in there too. Looks really beautiful. You can feel the different materials like this is metal and the skin. Again, the eyes work really great. They have uh, some reflections in there. You even see here a little bit of tattoo or some other patterns on the skin. And the expressiveness of the face is so amazing. I also like that the details here in the ornaments actually in most cases make sense and flow dynamically into each other so that they are actually decorations and designs. We have a dragon standing there at the edge of a cliff with the mountains in the background and even another dragon flying here in the sky. So that is pretty impressive and I like how the shape of the dragon actually really works out so the anatomy is correct to how we imagine these kind of fantasy dragons. And then the next image we have a close-up of a dragon eye and the detail in here of this kind of scale pattern inside of the eye. So again different from a cat or a human eye is really amazing and fits with how a lot of these dragons are drawn in fantasy images. Next we have another test that is impressive here. We have a whiskey on the rocks and this was very difficult for the older versions of Mid Journey. In this case I feel like it has worked very well. The liquid and the glass also the ice cubes look pretty good. It has placed some rocks around that but that's okay. I'm really happy with the rest of it and this is looking like a whiskey I would actually drink. 
Here we have another test for a photorealistic steak and that looks really very tasty and beautiful. You can actually see the softness of the meat here and how it is burned up here from the barbecue grill. So all of that comes together very, very beautifully. Now here we have some hand tests and you can see that in this image the hands don't work so well. They are almost there. So that's pretty good with the wine glass holding a hand. So you can see that you have the thumbnails here. You have the fingers with the with the correct amount of parts. So that is pretty good. You see a little bit of a thump here in the background, but then it's kind of breaking down in the overall details. Now in the next image here of this Lord of the Ring halfling, you can see that the hands actually work almost well. We have four fingers here. Of course, the thumb is in the pocket and they kind of look good. And over here, you also have four fingers and a thumb coming up from the back behind the other four fingers. So that is really impressive. Here you can see some ink sketch art that is also working very well. Here's another version that is a little bit more 3D. I love how dynamic this is, how the details of it make sense. And this actually looks like an ink art drawing. Next, we come to Mid Journey Understanding Location. So I tried different famous locations like the Flatiron Building in New York. And this gave me a classic picture. As you can see here, these old school cars. But the details of the building are very beautiful. And you can instantly recognize that this is the Flatiron Building. In the next one, we have the Statue of Liberty. Even with the platform it is standing on. So that is beautiful. The details are not 100% correct, but it understands that location and gives you an interpretation of it. Here's an image of the White House. Again, the flag is a bit strange, but at least it is there and has kind of the correct shapes. Of course, Mid Journey is throwing in other elements. So this doesn't 100% look like the White House, but you can recognize it as the White House. Here for Big Ben, the interesting thing is that in all of the pictures we created, the Big Ben is there and you can see the houses around it. But the way everything is put together from these Parliament houses is not correct because that Big Ben is actually connected to it and I know Big Ben is not the tower but the watch but everybody calls it Big Ben so don't worry about that but it gets very close I'm really happy about that Next, we have logo designs, and this is blowing my mind how beautiful they are. This one is one that is more dynamic and more colorful with kind of a 3D look in here, but still kind of a vector style, although this is not a vector file, by the way. This one is more of a flat design, nice golden gradient on a gray background, beautiful. And still you can distinguish the elements and the correct anatomy of the lion hat. And here we have one that you might find in American sports as a design. So this is pretty cool. I like how the combinations come together from these thick black lines as a contrast to the beautiful gradient of the lion hat. Again, the anatomy is correct and the fluffiness of the fur is also really beautiful and dynamic. Another thing that you can do with version 4 is that you can use your own face as an image input. So upload the image, then click on it, copy the link and then put that as an image link into Mid Journey. This is my photo and here we have an image based on that photo. I did a little bit of a description of the image and you can see it's coming kind of close. It's not completely me, but that's okay because it's only using one image. And I said, I want to have myself in this kind of Roman outfit. But you can see we have a bald man with a beard. He's even wearing a black shirt and then some Roman outfit on top of that. So with this comparison, I feel pretty good about that result. The next test I did is for rooms and I'm absolutely in love with that. First, we have a Baroque room and what you have to see here are these beautiful details where you have a lot of details, much more than we have seen before. But also in a lot of cases, they work pretty well because you can see here and here we have two mirrors and actually the door here is mirrored in this image 
not correctly, but still it is there. And in this mirror, we have this window with the shades pulled down a little bit. Again, the reflection is not 100% perfect, but it is there. That is the more important part. The rest of the details with the drawings here on the ceiling and also the wooden floor looks amazing. And also the perspective is mostly correct. Here we have a maximalist style of a room. Very beautiful. A second one and what I want to point out here to you is that not only is the architecture and the style correct but also in the details of that style we have other images like for example here for the wallpaper we actually have a flower in this painting in the background we have a landscape with a sun or a moon and then other images that have some details but also the carpet down here has a nice beautiful design that is working and you can see here the books also make sense from the perspective. So most of these details are really beautiful and work well together. Here we have a minimalist bedroom, also very nice. Again, the picture on the wall is a landscape that's actually working. I'm so happy about that. And the detail here with the blanket on the bed is working and the pillows, they are next to each other. They are not melting into each other and they have these little wrinkles on them that actually look really good. Here we have an image of a kitchen that is working beautifully. And what I want to point out here to you is from the perspective, these complex different details like the chairs down here, the lamps up here, they make sense perspectively. Even here the stove and the air went for the stove work really great. And last but not least, we have some crowd images because in minus minus test and minus minus test P, it was really difficult to get multiple characters in there and especially making the characters in the background making sense for the prompt. So in this case, we have here a survivor running away from zombies in the background. And what I want to point out here is not only that we have characters, we have zombies in the background that look great. They have a nice dynamic here. They make sense on how they run after us survivor but also from our main character look at how dynamic the body moves and how the hair is blowing in the wind moving with the shaking of the head so these details are really beautiful very dynamic they all make sense the anatomy is mostly correct the hand of course didn't work here but that's okay because overall the result is absolutely beautiful here we have another image of a survivor taking a selfie with the zombies in the background. Now this was really hard to get with the versions before. Version 3 didn't create anatomically correct people and test and test P didn't create any people in the background. But here we have a very, very nice combination where even the hands are mostly correct. She's holding the smartphone in the right direction, actually looking at it to take a picture. And then we have these crowds of zombies in the background. Let me know in the comments if this also has blown your mind and join my live stream on Sunday where we will test version 4. You can suggest prompts and we're going to have a lot of fun together. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.